Hi, welcome for Oracle Cloud Fusion at CM interview questions and also for errors and how we can resolve those errors when we are getting in, in the training or when we are working in the project. So most of the times this error you might have seen while hiring an employee in Fusion Cloud HCM. The error is at the time of submitting, means after completion of entering all the worker identification information, person information, and assignment information before we try to submit for approval, the system is showing that a record with the value person DO already exists. Enter a unique value. It means you are trying to hire an employee, means worker or person, that person DO already exists. Nothing but that person number is already exist and try to enter the unique number. But system is not allowing us to enter the value because it's automatic configuration. Now in the interviews, they will ask us, if you get this type of error, where do you configure and what could be the problem and what is the solution for this? So this error, let me enter into the application. Here, like this, we'll be getting this error message. The moment uh, when you click submit button and try to submit the request, you are going to get this error message. So how we have to rectify and where do we configure? Person number means obviously it is uh, at enterprise level, right? Uh, we know that in our training, we might have come across what is person number, what is worker number, what is difference between these two, right? So person number comes at enterprise level. So we have to go to the task, manage enterprise HTM information and open this particular task. The moment when we open this task, it will show the enterprise level setups. And if you look at carefully here, the person number generation method, there are three types of methods we will find. Automatic prior to submission, automatic final save, and manual. Right now, what has configured at enterprise level? Automatic prior to submission. It means whenever we hire any worker for this enterprise, the system should automatically generate the person number before submitting for approval. Before submitting for approval, the number should be submitted. The number should be generated and the number whatever it is going to generate it, we mentioned starting number as six. It means it is trying to generate the number as seven, eight, nine, ten, like more than this number, whatever you have given. But those numbers are already exist in the system. The numbers, those numbers are already exist in the system. That's why it is showing that I'm trying to generate person number as per your setups. But when I try to generate the person number as per your setups, those number, that number is already exist in the system. So that's why it is showing, please choose the unique value. So what we have to do is we need to come to this particular setup here. Either we have to change the setup here. We can see that. We'll see person number generation methods are three types automatic prior to submission. If client wants to have the same method, it's fine, no problem. We can continue. But the initial person number should be the maximum number whatever exists in your system. Let's say in my system, 85,000 is the maximum number, for example, that we can set up. Now what system will do is, whenever you hire an employee for this enterprise, it will try to generate greater than this number. So obviously there is no chance that it's going to have a duplicate in the system. So let me go for submit. I mentioned uh, starting number is this, 5,85,000, that's the starting number. Let's see what could be the person number if we hire any worker now. Let's go back to your uh, new person from client groups, try to hire employee. And we know that person number is generated at uh, enterprise level, not at legal employer. You work for 
any legal employer, it doesn't matter. It's going to work for a generation of at uh, enterprise level here. Let's uh, go for enter person information. We mentioned that method is uh, upon final save, right? So at the time of saving the record, it's going to show the number is generated or not. If. Let's see if generated, what, would, what could be the number here? Now we don't find that error message because the number, whatever we have entered initial number, that's the maximum number. So obviously the new number will be generated. So definitely it will take some time to get into that. So it won't generate any duplicate numbers. Let's go back to our person management here. In person management, we can search for the person we have presented here. It's Ramesh Kumar, right? See, 585,000. That's the initial number we have generated. Because we mentioned at enterprise level, saying that the number should generate automatically and initial number is 585,000. So if you hire any new worker, then it will be generating 585,001. So obviously there is no chance that it's going to generate uh, duplicate uh, numbers. Obviously the person number should be always unique and it will never change for any worker. Even if you do the transfer or global transfer, or if you try to do some temporary assignment, global temporary assignment, still, uh, there won't be any problem here. The person number remains same as it is over here. It is. Okay. So this is one of the important question in the interviews, as well as uh, sometimes when we are doing in the practice, also we'll be getting this error. Just to do this setup, you will come to know it. Thank you. And subscribe to my channel to get latest updates for entire Oracle Cloud, both HCM Finance, Supply Chain Management, technical and integrations and all the modules. Okay, thank you.